Hi, my name is Gwendolyn Espy, and I am an applications engineer for Yaskawa Selectria Solar, and I will be walking you through this string sizing tool. All right, let's start. So the first thing is to select a module manufacturer and module model. If um, there's a model that you're not seeing in our database, you can go ahead and click add new module and then send us the details of the module that you want. Um, if it is a bifacial module um, and you have a specific gain you want us to place into our database, go ahead and specify that as well. Otherwise, we'll just go ahead and default to 10%. The next step is to do design temperature. So we're, we are going to go ahead and click the ASHRAE link and we can just put in our zip code and then select a weather station near the site. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one and note 26 Celsius and negative five degrees Celsius. So negative five and 26. Next is the mounting method. So various mounting and racking methods can result in modules experiencing a temperature rise. And this is important when determining the lower uh, operating voltage in those warmer days. So I'm gonna go ahead and select greater than 10% on flat roof. Next, I will ignore this array STC power range and I will explain why later, but just note this 1.4 to 1.7 default. Next is the electrical service specification. We do this first because this will determine what inverters are listed under the inverter selection. So we select a phase and then we select a voltage. Um, so I just wanted to show the inverter selection here, but I actually want 480 volts and this PVI 60 TL. So note this array STC power range updated automatically. So that's why we just ignored that. Note that this PVI 60 TL says one of three MPPTs. So we are going to be sizing just one of the three MPPTs. Um, so that's what we're dealing with when we are um, sizing the specific one. So if you see one that says, you know, one of three, one of two, you're just sizing that specific input, which makes sense because this is a 60 kilowatt inverter and this updated, so each MPPT would be 20 kilowatts. And so that's what this 18 to 21 range is reflecting. I, however, want a 1.2 DC to AC ratio, which would be around 24 kilowatts. So um, I'm gonna choose the 21 to 25. Next, we are going to click the, I have read terms and agree. We're gonna open this up and read it. <laughs> and once we have read it and we agree, um, click that check box and then now we're ready for the results. So here are the different configurations that you can do. Um, it does, give you warnings. For example, in this configuration, it looks like there could be some possible derating um, due to the low string voltage. Um, we also get this 20, um, 20 kilowatt limit um, warning, you know, so, but that's fine because we want that. We are sizing our DC um, higher than our AC. So we're expecting some clipping. This is just showing that some clipping would happen. Um, so, I'm gonna take a look at these top three. So we have a 14 by 13 configuration, three by 17, three by 16. We could choose any of these for our individual MPPT zones. So we have one of three. Um, so we could do all three MPPT zones, uh, four by 13. But if I have, for example, 151 um, of these modules, I could do one zone at 52 or one zone at four by 13 the second zone three by 17 and the third zone three by 16 to be able to use all 151 modules. So once you take a look at this and decide which configurations you want, you can just go ahead and click. You can either note that here and stop here, probably most people do, or you can click on this report button and um, it will bring up a nice report on what the configuration is and then also the details, the the project specifications and the module specifications and the inverter specifications for that. So yeah, so that's the short tour of our string sizing tool. <laughs> Thanks.